What's up, everybody? I'm Dimebot, and welcome back to 12 Days of Flight Sim for Day 8. And today we are in the capital of Iceland, Reykjavik. And that is going to be the last thing that I try, try to pronounce in this video. So, we're going to go ahead and get flying here. Probably have to do a little adjustment to the weather and time of day as usual, especially here this far north. The game is definitely not going to have liked the time selection that I set in terms of us being able to see. So, without saying, it's going to be cold here. But, it also offers a spectacular Christmas and a lot of unique holiday traditions. So we will talk about those once we get in and get our plane off the runway and airborne. And while this is beautiful, we really can't see a whole lot, so let's just adjust the time a little bit. Now you notice that there's very, very little daylight here, which makes sense if you consider where we are. And I have taken the old Grumman Goose, so let's go ahead and get running throttles forward, as you can see. This plane for a tail dragger is actually pretty easy to take off. She's wanting to go right or left for me for some reason, but we are in the air. That was a real ugly takeoff. We'll just pretend that that wasn't as bad as it really was. And get flying here. Ah, you'll see the mountains out there. Note that this is a plane with outboard pontoons, so if you wanted to land it in the water, well, it's, it's a flying boat, so you can totally do it. Get the gear up there. Very unique gear configuration. One of my thing, one of the things I love about this plane. Now, Reykjavik is a place that I like to come fly fairly often. Uh, it's a very unique town. I believe we actually did it in one of the previous videos. Not for Christmas, but for a world tour, I believe. But just lots of old churches. A very, very unique landscape. Now, one of the unique traditions I was talking about is uh, the 13, quote, Yuletide lad Scruffy Santas, that bring gifts to kids who've been good for the 13 nights leading up to Christmas. You're also going to have a Yule Town Christmas market with lots of small huts where you can get gifts, decorations, enjoy treats, and, of course, the Northern Lights, which is not something that's really represented in the sim, unfortunately, but... If you were here in real life, it would absolutely be something you could see. I do love flying these old rustic aircraft. And this is just a really, really interesting place to come fly. Pull up the VFR map for you guys so you can see. Iceland itself, not very big. If you wanted to fly around and land at some other airports, certainly make for an interesting winter flight. Uh, there's just... A lot of interesting stuff to really see here and very I know I've said it but landscape that's unlike a lot of other places especially once you start heading more towards the center of the landmass it's just a very interesting place to go fly but as with all of the 12 days of flight sim videos I wanted to keep this one short for you guys I'd rather you come explore this yourself and really experience it it is very beautiful so that's going to do it. If you're here till the end of the video and you liked it, hey, like, subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And if you're here to the end, well, watch time ski on YouTube. So thank you very much. My name is Dinebot, and I will see you guys next time.